Alright folks, today I'm gonna show you how to smoke an awesome piece of venison meat. So stay tuned! Time to grill! So for us in Germany it's really hard to explain the deer and venison terms into English. So there um, might be some, um, some different vocabulary missing here. So this is actually kind of the back of a male venison. So it's not Bambi, it's Bambi's father if you uh, want a description. If you know the right English term for that, please uh, write it down in the comments. So we're gonna get started with cutting away the pieces of the meat we don't need, just to make sure it's completely clean. So this is the faster version. This is um, meat from one of my favorite online butcheries, Oberpfalzbeef.de. I'll put a link into the video description. You can check it out and see how the meat looks like and the prices here in Germany. That might be interesting for you. So we're gonna put this one into a Ziploc bag and then we add different kind of ingredients. So this is fresh rosemary. Just make sure to break the leaves a little bit so the um, flavor comes out better. Then we're gonna need some black garlic. This one is different. I got this one from the Netherlands and this is interesting. This is how the garlic looks like and this is how the gloves look like. So these are almost black. Seems to be smoked. Really nice flavor. And then we're gonna fill this up with red wine. You might have seen my red wine ribeye video where I put this into a um, sous vide. This one is different here. We don't cook this one, so it's just for marinating. Of course, I will put a link to the red wine ribeye into the video description uh, in the end, and in the end, so you can check it out later. Now, close the lip back about 90%, and then press out the air, like so. And if you have almost pressed everything out, close the Ziploc bag. So that's it. This will go into the fridge and stay there overnight, and then we're seeing us again tomorrow. So, good morning, here we go. This is how the venison meat looks like after marinating approximately 12 hours overnight. Take a paper towel and dry it up. And you can see that it really gets an interesting color now from the red wine and it has a nice flavor with the rosemary and the garlic. So, that's the goal. We're gonna dry this one, take the paper towels and then we're gonna season it. So, here's what I do. I take my salt mixture, the Terrano Meersalz, which um, has ingredients, dried oregano, dried paprika, oh, sorry, tomatoes and olives. This is a Mediterranean style. For me, this one um, is really good with the red wine flavor. And of course, we're gonna season this from both sides. and then give it a turn so the sides will have some um, salt there as well. And once we're ready with that, we're gonna put this onto our grill. I have preheated my broiling keg in direct heat with some smoke wood and we're gonna smoke this one until it has an internal temperature of 56 degrees Celsius which is approximately 95 to 100 or 100 to 110, more, it's more 100 to 110 uh, Fahrenheit. So this one should be a little bit um, medium rare inside later on. And after smoking, this took a time about uh, 45 minutes. Then we're gonna throw this one on the gas grill just to give it some color, just two or three minutes from each side. So um, it gets a nice crust here as well. So you can um, just test how the, f how the meat is by pressing on this. For me, this one is perfect. We're gonna take this down, we're gonna let it rest for some minutes and then we're gonna cut and see how we did. So if you would have asked me before, how would the perfect result look like? That's close. 
So we're going to season this one with some more salt. We're going to give this a try. If you like this recipe and if you like this, what you see, then hit that like button. Please give me a comment for any vocabulary help. Check out my uh, latest video about the ribeye. You can check the video description for all the ingredients and all my other fan pages and stuff would be really cool. I appreciate that. I would like to thank you for watching so far. I'm out. See you.